Hey, what's up guys? Coach Scott here. And I'm Coach Rory. And we're going to talk to you about a really important thing called rhabdomyelosis, also known as rhabdo. Uh, we have a lot of people going through the gym right now, and we haven't talked about this in a, in a long time. I don't even think we've ever like, really made a point about it. But we want to talk about rhabdo um, and just how us athletes should be training and how to avoid rhabdo. So Roy and I were talking. Yeah. Um, knowing like all athletes can get rhabdo. Um, yeah, so not just in CrossFit, but yeah. just across the board, whether it's uh, weightlifters, mm -hmm. uh, football players, it kind of across the board. Totally. Um, yeah, uh, endurance athletes. Yeah. Endurance athletes. Um, and, and what this is, it's shredding of the muscles and, it, and, it, and it's filtering through our kidneys just because our, our kidneys filter all the bad stuff, okay? Um, so, things and how to avoid this, all right? There's one big thing is it is our ego. So as athletes, right, as athletes, we need to know what our limit is. What about yeah. you? Another one? Yeah, uh, leaving your ego out the door. Um, yeah, like Scott said, knowing what your limits are and not trying to push past that. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a big one. Um, heat, so making sure if you feel lightheaded, um, if you're really hot, yep. you know, stopping the workout from there. Yep. Um, dehydration is another one. So really making sure that you're hydrated prior to coming to class. Yeah, and here, here's that thing, like Roy and I were talking about it, and we were saying, all right, one of the big things is ego. Well then, knowing your limit, well then we talk about knowing your limit. Well, Roy and I are going head to head, I'm gonna try to pull up ahead of them. The way that we kind of avoid all of this is going, hey, was I properly new, uh, dehydrated today? Yeah. Have I been drinking my water? Um, is it super hot? But then going back to my part, am I dehydrated? Yes. Right? Yes, and then I can go and push past Rory if I can reach him or catch him. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, knowing your limits are super important. Um, you know, that you, you should know when you're able to push past that and when you should pull back a little bit and be safe. Yeah. And so just as a new athlete, you guys got to just start to think about stuff like this is this is new. CrossFit's new. So just, you know, stay patient, learn. Uh, if the weight and the load has to stay at a minimum, keep it at a minimum until you're really comfortable with your movements. All right guys, so let's talk about symptoms to rhabdo. Uh, the first one is gonna be something that's totally normal with CrossFit and it's gonna be extreme muscle soreness. So if this is new to you, you haven't been doing anything like this at all, like you're gonna feel real sore. So that's not the, the all out results that you have rhabdo. Yeah, there's a fine line there. Um, there is one symptom that um, is kind of like the, the bingo bango. Um, if this happens, then you definitely should get yourself to the hospital and get. But we're not going to say that yet. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. No, we don't. We'll say it for the last. Right. Um, uh, it's mus. There's one that's muscle fatigue. Okay, again, total normal. Yeah. Um, and then a thing like if you're doing negative contractions, like eccentric contractions, like doing pull-ups and going down slow. Um, that could be a symptom to it, but I'm gonna let Rory give the uh, the last one. The yeah. So if your pee um, is very dark colored, almost like looks like Coca Cola. Coca Cola, yeah. Um, that's kind of the tall tale sign of mm -hmm. rhabdo. Um, and so if you see that, that's kind of your cue to um, get yourself to the hospital and get checked out right away. Totally. And so this is, guys, this is just some information for you guys. Again, as athletes, we need to be smart athletes. So we have the power, guys, to avoid this, right? And remember, new old athletes can get this. So just know how to train you guys, properly hydrate yourself, and uh, we'll put some links below, guys, so you can read up on it. Um, but this is for us to, to give you some more knowledge, and uh, we thank you for being with us today. Yeah, be safe. Always.